Hey, what's up, Shredders? And welcome back to the channel. I found a piece of my childhood, and today, I want to share that with all of you. Just dropping in to tell you about my skateboard story. This is the very first pro model that I ever skateboarded on. A huge shout out to Jason Studer, my very first skateboard mentor. He rode the whole series, and I got to ride the whole series second hand. Thank you, Jason. I mean, it really meant a lot. You gave me boards when I needed them, and you showed me all that you knew. You taught me all the fundamentals in skateboarding. To all you other shredders out there, if you have an opportunity to be somebody's uh, skate mentor, definitely go for it. It's really gonna give a lot back to you, and you're gonna be glad you did it. But back to the story. So, this is a slice of my childhood. Um, Jay was my neighbor, um, 13 to 15, and we lived in the, you know, the same neighborhood, but he lived a few streets over. I learned kick flips, heel flips, wall rides, no complies, you know, rail slides, zest slides, like everything, all the fundamentals, and I owe it to him. You know, he took me under his wing, helped me gain favor with the, the older neighborhood kids. They were rough back then in skateboarding. It ain't like it is today all soft and cuddly. Beat it, you voucher! Yeah, so the board was definitely a lot different than when I was riding it, and the nose um, is it, about four inches shorter. Um, wheelbase, probably a couple inches shorter. Definitely had a little bit of a nose, which a lot of boards didn't really have a lot of noses back then, so it was kind of cutting edge. Concave, um, I think it was a little more mellow than this was too, but man, I gotta tell you, I was just browsing around, and like I saw it, and I was like, holy crap, can't even believe it. So. Of course I had to get it. I had to have one to, to stock, to hang on the wall, and then I had to one to rock that I had to skate. So I got some trucks, got some wheels, because yeah, 169's pretty big deal. So yeah, pretty psyched. Can't wait to set that up and uh, ride something a little bigger, because cruising around the skate park has been amazing, and I know with this thing, it's gonna be even better. So definitely stay tuned for that. Let us know down in the comments. What was your first board? Hey, let us know in the comments who your first skate mentor was, or if you're currently mentoring someone else. Did you know John Lucero, in addition to being an amazing artist and owning Black Label Skateboards, an amazing skateboard company, he actually did the artwork for this skateboard, in fact, on Schmistics. Not only that, he invented slappies, and no complies. A couple of my most favorite tricks. He was a very innovative pro, but there wasn't a whole lot of uh, coverage of him. But he was definitely behind the scenes making it happen. I really appreciate you taking a trip down memory lane with me. It's always fun to have you guys along. And until next time, keep shredding, and we'll see you soon. If you're an older skateboarder, or if you know an older skateboarder that needs a kick in the butt to get back into skateboarding, please like, subscribe, and share this video. I'm trying to build a tribe here, a community of older skateboarders, new to the game skateboarders, and just skateboarders, period. So if that's something that interests you, let's get connected, and we'll see you guys soon.